there. Today we're going to talk about uh, student expectation 8.5e, which is in chemistry, and it's law of conservation of mass. And the expectation states that you will be able to identify the amount of matter, that the amount of matter is the same before and after a chemical reaction. So if you guys remember, what goes into a chemical reaction must come out. So in other words, when atoms make compounds or molecules or they bond, we are not gaining or losing atoms. Those atoms involved in the chemical reaction are just rearranging themselves to create new substances. So what goes in must come out. Atoms are not created nor destroy a chemical reaction. All right, let's look at that and see what that actually looks like. So today we are going to do a typical reaction. We are going to add our acetic acid or our vinegar to our sodium bicarbonate or our baking soda, okay? So we know that when we put vinegar and baking soda together, they react, they bubble up, they fizz, creating a gas. We know that happens. We know it's a reaction. So this goes into the reaction truly does come out. So the first thing we're going to start with is I have put some vinegar into my flask. And we are going to put that on our trusted digital scale. So let's see, make sure you guys can read the digital scale with me. So if you can see it, it reads zero. I hope everyone sees that well. All right, now we are going to put our flask with the vinegar on it. And it comes out to read 126 grams. So that is how much vinegar I have. So let's see if I can start making a little diagram of this. So I have vinegar and I have 126 grams. And I'm going to add to that my baking soda. So let me take my vinegar back off and let's measure our baking soda and see what the mass here is. The baking soda has a mass of 15 grams. So I want to actually combine the two. I'm going to add them together, right? I'm going to add them up. And so I should come out with a total of, well, 126 plus 15 gives me 141 grams. So I should come out with that if this all goes right. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to put the lip of the balloon over my flask and hopefully I don't have any leaks in my balloon. Hopefully this works out well. By the way, we have not created, we have not mixed the two together. I have baking soda in my balloon, if I didn't clarify that, and I have my vinegar in my flask. These are what are going to react. These are my reactants. So vinegar and baking soda are going to react to make a product, okay? So we're trying to figure out what does, what is the mass in of the reactants, what's the mass out of the products. So let's go ahead and right now it's showing 141 grams, which is correct because we still have baking soda and we had measured those both, and we know that that's 141. Let's mix them up and see if it comes out to be the same. So now, as you can see, my balloon is steadily blowing up. It is blowing up because of, I am trapping that gas that's being produced through this chemical reaction. I wanted to trap that so I could make sure that I know if what goes in does come out. So. If you look now, oh, see, there was a little bit of loss here. We have some loss. So we'll have to talk about that because we went in with 141 grams of total. We should come out with 141 grams total. 
So let's just give it a minute and see. Uh -huh. There we go. We didn't complete our reaction. Now we've completed our reaction with all the baking soda in the balloon. Now we're good to go. So when in 126 grams of vinegar, 15 grams of baking soda were my reactant. My product, what did I make here? Well, I made 141 grams, which 126 plus 15 add to 141, so this is correct. And the product I made is actually, what you can't see is I made salt, that's still in the bottom. I created some water and I created carbon dioxide gas. The gas is what blew our balloon up so nicely. So what went in must come out and that is proven by the activity we just did. What went in must come out and we are, if I keep messing with it, I'm losing because probably because of the lip of the balloon. So um, I'm sorry, probably because I keep messing with it. But we did see it initially. What went in must come out. Now, so just in case you see this one different way, I want to show you another way that you might see something like this. You might see that vinegar has 126 grams. It's added to baking soda. We don't know. And it produces 141 grams. So we know if what goes in must come out, all you need to do to figure this out is to take your total of 141 grams, subtract that from your, what you knew, your 126, and then you would have gotten the 15 grams of baking soda as well. So just know this is one way you might see this information be, being utilized on a star test. Another way you might see it being utilized is you might be given something like this. You have a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and a carbon, uh, no, sorry, oxygen atom. And these are your reactants, meaning they're going to react to form something new, and I'm sure you all know what they're making. So they're going to all combine, and we are going to make some products here. And our products would be this H2O. So we had two hydrogen and an oxygen combined to make H2O, right? And we also had, um, so these are our reactants. What comes out, the water, is our product. We could assign numbers to this as well. We could say that we have, um, let's see, 10 grams. Oh, y'all can't see that. Hang on, let me get a darker marker. All right, we could say we have 10 grams of hydrogen plus 5 grams of oxygen in our reactants. And then we turn up with a total of 15 grams of water. So just know that's something else, a different way you might see this information being used on STAR. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck with the station activities.